This is Dan Walton. And this is my topic. And you are watching Crop Ready Board. Us three tubers finally meet. Us three tubers finally meet. So 2016. Matt, can you believe that we've been going for seven years? No. No, I can't. <laughs> well, actually, I sort of can. Because I look back at the videos we made back then and I see baby Dan yeah. and baby Matt and I think, oh, that's adorable. How we've grown. We're men now. So we asked you guys on Facebook and on Twitter, but mostly on Facebook, to ask us some questions that we could answer in a Cropperty Blog Q&A. So we're now going to give you the answers to those questions, because that's how Q&As work. It is indeed. So some of them are Cropperty related, some of them are not. The first question we've got is, what is your favourite brand of guitar strings, or any strings for that matter? Um, personally, Elixirs. They, um... I've only been using them recently, but I was going through strings every two weeks and have had the same set on and they still, they've kept their tone, they've kept their strength. That's, that's, they're the set I would recommend through acoustic. So another question we had was, where do you see Crockery Blog in 10 years time? I don't know if I've really thought that far into the future, but having said that, like I probably wouldn't have seven years ago thought about the present day. Yeah. So I don't know, like I'd quite like Cropperty Blog to be like a bigger brand thing. I don't know about you, I'd quite like to have like a, maybe like a full franchise and like a whole team of people, <laughs> ideally. Set up shops over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would like to say at Cropperty, that's yeah. where it is. Um, but I mean, it, it relates back to your question we were asking a couple of years back, what, what does the future hold? I mean, that, that question on its own is dependent on the answer to our question of what the future holds. So this is a question specifically for me and Tom. Sorry Matt. That's right. Uh, do you intend to incorporate the New Forest Folk Festival into Cropperty Blog or keep them as separate entities? Kind of a little bit of both as we've kind of done already because I mean we do upload the New Forest Folk Festival video onto the Cropperty Blog channel and Cropperty Blog is kind of a brand that, that is kind of a title that we use um, but at the same time, again, it, it being a different festival completely, it's it's kind of its own thing. It it there's there's no kind of uh, no correspondence with with the property blog video. They're still two separate videos, just on the same channel. I hope that answers the question. It's a yes and no. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Another question we had was: if you could choose a lineup for a crop in two thousand and seventeen, which acts would you most want to see? So, are we going like? Regardless of any other factors, just like fantasy lineup. I I, I would I like to say yes, yeah. So uh, Paul McCartney would be on my lineup for that then. Um, I would have to say um, he's, he's been there before. Richard Thompson. I'm hoping he makes another I would, appearance. I would think he would. Um, I would love to see Cats and Gemma back with Marianne. As for those who don't know, she has departed on good terms. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I would love to see Three Daft Monkeys, Leather App, all them going back to the main stage. Yeah. One of my favourite bands that I discovered at Cropperty was back in 2012, and that was Larkin Poe. Yeah. I'd really love to see them back again. They've kind of grown a little bit since their, since their Cropperty performance. They've done like a lot of support for um, Elvis Costello. They've just recently been on the Conan O'Brien show. Um, so they're a little bit more well known than they were last time around. So I'd like to see them, like, probably not headline, but maybe like penultimate. Yeah. I'd, I'd, either way, I'd love to see them there again because I, I I adore Larkin Poe. Dear Property Blog, which performer have you most enjoyed interviewing? Ooh, mm. that's difficult. I think um, for me, it's got to be oh, it's tough. Okay, there's there's two. There's not. There can't be a single. Um, Dave Pegg is one of them. Yeah. He gave a brilliant insight into everything festival, um, why he ran things certain ways, what he wanted to see as a festival runner. And it was really good to get that sort of insight from someone who, who used to run it, you know. And um, secondly, Will Farquharson. I knew you were going to say that. He was... Because <laughs> he didn't necessarily talk about all things... Festival, so it's like the other end of the scale. He was, you know, he was talking about everything else and just, just generally having a nice chat, which was good to sort of stray away from the normalities of it all. I'd quite like to say Dave Pegg as well, even though I've kind of stood back for that one and you mostly 
to yeah. be talking. Um, but actually, we've interviewed them twice, and that's Chris Leslie and Rick Sanders. Yeah. Because they're always just such fun to speak to. Yeah. Always. Uh, and what I like about them is they there's a lot of um, back and forth questioning. You notice that? They all ask us questions yeah, as yeah. well, and that's really fun. Just it just to have a conversation like a proper conversation yeah. going. And it just comes across really well on screen, I think. They'd, and two lovely guys as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you couldn't ask for two nicer people to, to chat to. We've got two related questions here. And they are related to free hugs. One says, why did you stop doing the free hugs? And then one says, why did you start? Um, I think we started because it seemed like a fun idea. It was, you know, who doesn't enjoy hugs? Um, I think we didn't necessarily plan a stop as such. It just became something that if we had time to do it or if the weather was good, yeah. then we would. If if we couldn't, then, then we didn't. And then from not doing it one year, we didn't really think about it the next. Yeah. I mean, there's a, it's, it's a very common thing, maybe probably not just at Cropperty, but a lot of festivals. Yeah, oh yeah. Doing. I mean, we, we've seen, over the last couple of years, we've seen other people doing it. Yeah. Um, and it's, it, I mean, it, it's just a great fun thing to do. Oh yeah. Um, I think probably it just doesn't take priority if we're, if because we like to sit back and enjoy the music a lot of the time, and go off and do other things. So whenever we're not doing that, I think we like to focus on doing property blog. Um, so I think it just sort of, kind of gets forgotten about. But we will bring it back yeah. one year. We will do it again. We promise. We have another question that's sort of property related, sort of isn't? It says um, people in America, anywhere, different countries want to know about affordable flights and lodgings. Um, we can't really comment on the on the price of flights as, you know, they're always changing. Just all I can say is keep looking around and keep trying to find the best deal. Lodgings, there's several hotels nearby. If you just Google property hotels, you'll find something or you can always camp. We have a question for you to answer now. Um, we've been talking about this for years. Um, would you like to see property blog badges, and if you would, what would you like to see on them? So that's it from us until August. Actually, no, July. You'll see me in July because that's when the new Forest Folk Festival is this year. So there'll be a video around then, and then you'll see a ton of stuff from us in August, music-related stuff, blog-related stuff, and we've got some quite fun stuff planned for our video this year. So please stick with us. Thanks for sticking with us for the past seven years as well. We really like hearing your feedback and hearing what you guys have to say on Facebook and on, on the YouTube comments and on Twitter. Don't forget to follow us on all of those things. We've also got Instagram and, and we have a Snapchat as well. Yes. If you fancy following us on that. Thanks very much. Thank you. It's goodbye from us and goodbye from the hotel background that we always seem to have.